Hey everyone, my name is Ira. Uh, I prefer he, him, his as pronouns. Uh, I identify as a man and I also identify as genderqueer, just a heads up. Um, I want to start this by saying that this is a call out to the FCM community. And by call out, I mean holding accountable. I mean calling out by saying, this is fucked up. I'm letting you know that it's fucked up. I'm not saying, hey guys, what's up? Uh, but, so, I, I want to start this by saying that FCM is a spectrum. It is not, not all FCM identified persons go through the same path. We don't all experience the same things. We don't all transition medically. We don't all transition the same way. We don't all prefer he, him, his as pronouns. We don't all identify solely as male. We haven't always known our identities. Uh, our identities maybe have changed. And I can, my point is, is that there is no ideal FTM identified person. There is not one of us that represents all of us. And that's okay. Um, and we need to celebrate that. We need difference of strength. Uh, so, you know, to, <laughs> I just, I just want to I just want to start you know with saying that I want to make this video because I used to be part of this group called Trans Men Worldwide on Facebook specifically, and there was a shit ton of sexist statements and a lot of um, a lot of trans male identified folks spewing a lot of trans misogynistic shit. Um, I say trans misogynistic just because I know that. It's the only word that uses the intersection of two forms of oppression in one, but I think that the oppression that trans women face is very specific. Um, and so that's why I use that. But uh, so it, was, it was just super trans misogynistic. I called people out on it, and I got this huge amount of comments basically just like, fuck you, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm leaving. Um, and I didn't say it in a mean way. Just to clarify, I just said, hey, I don't, I don't think that using this language is appropriate because it's this, it's not our place to reclaim. It's not used, it's not used against us. And you know, I, the term I'm talking about is the term tranny, and and there was also a lot of terms, uh, like you know, the the usage of the word bitch. Um, a lot of, a lot of comments like, oh well, girls just do that, and it's like, what the fuck? Like we used to experience sexism from the side of the oppressed, like. On what fucking planet are you on where you turn around and use that same, that, that privilege that you just garnered by medically transitioning, and this is, I'm only talking about m m binary male identified medically transitioning, garnering male privilege men, right? Um, I just, why the fuck would you turn around and oppress people the same way that you've been oppressed, regardless of identity? Oh, like, why would you do that? I just don't understand. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get into it any more than that. It just makes me angry. Uh, so, I just, I noticed that there was a lot of bullying going on in, in the community, and, you know, especially in, like, the cyberspatial community, because I don't spend that much time in FTM circles in person, because I just don't have access to that. But, a lot of, a lot of FTM identified persons who are within the binary male identity, talk a lot of shit on and talk down to people who identify as FTM that don't necessarily prefer he, him, as, his as pronouns, that don't medically transition, that don't want to change their first name legally, that don't entirely identify as male, and it's just not cool. This group is a spectrum. We are full of differences, and it is okay to celebrate our differences, and it is okay to affirm our, you know, our identities, my identity, somebody else's who's non-binary identity, it's okay to affirm our identities, and it doesn't harm your masculinity. I notice that a lot of um, FTM-identified persons, especially binary male-identified persons, who first come out and first realize their identity and are first transitioning, especially medically, subscribe to this hyper-masculine, hyper-machismo culture. And you don't have to. You really don't have to. And you find, you find these spaces where it's like, okay, well, if you want to pass, <laughs> if you want to pass, <laughs> you, have to, uh, you have to work out. You uh, have to shave your face because girls don't, you know, girls have peach fuzz and boys don't. Because, you know, all girls and all boys are the same and have the same bodies, you know, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> 
and you have to you have to do this, you have to cut your hair, you have to do that, blah blah blah. And it's like nobody I don't have to I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. And maybe passing maybe passing, maybe being perceived as male is not my number one priority. And maybe I want to be visible as a queer person and and the list goes on. My point is is it's not cool. Just stop bullying. Stop telling other people what they have to do in their transitions. You, I think that it's totally cool to speak from experience. I experienced dysphoria in this way. You know, for example, I experienced dysphoria around my chest, therefore I bind, right? Uh, I don't expect all other FTM-identified persons to bind. I would never tell them to do so. This is not to say that I'm better than anybody, but because I believe in personal autonomy. I don't think it's my place to tell other people what to do with their own bodies and their own lives. So, I don't. It's as simple as that. If you don't want somebody telling you what to do with your own body and your own life, don't tell other people to do it. Um, I noticed that, or I don't even know why I just said that. <laughs> Something that I like to say is that in a critique, if you do not provide an alternative, it is just complaining. Which, complaining is not necessarily bad, but, and sometimes there isn't always an alternative. However, in this case, there is. Um, if you are on Facebook and you are looking for a group that is as best as it can be, a safe space, a brave space because we call each other out and we talk about our, our views and our opinions freely, then please send me a personal message on here. I'll invite you. It's called Female to Whatever. It's private, so anybody can come and nobody will know. Uh, so stealth folks, this is for you. Um, anybody is free to join. If you want to go to learn, you're welcome to join. Just know that this group is not for everybody. This group welcomes everybody, but it's not for everybody. It focuses on female-to-male identified folks, you know, or, you know, folks who are transitioning the female-to-male path or whatever, um, that do not fit the hyper-masculine ideal F, like, female-to-male, super hyper, like, super male-identified identity, you know. It, it, you know, if you don't fit that mold, uh, then you're, then this group is for you. And, no, and and we don't assume your pronouns, we don't assume a path, and it's, we've got over 70 members so far, and it's been going really well. So, um, please send me a message. I have, to, like, you have to be friends with somebody in the group in order to be invited. Uh, so, it may involve you adding me as a friend on Facebook, but you're, well, I will delete if you want me to. You can delete me if you want me, to, if you want to, um, right as, after I get you in. Um, but, yeah, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, want to learn, etc., etc., you can always send me a message below. Again, the link for Kaya's video will be below. And, yeah, in, if you don't want to comment here or if you don't have an account, you can go on my blog, ask me an anonymous question, send me an email, my phone number's on there, again. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you all later, okay?